guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is julia ambani commonly known as jules on this channel we love to talk about books literature development and a sprinkle of other things here and there so if that sounds like your cup of tea feel free to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up share it with people you think will be interested and let's go so today as probably as you've seen the title i'm telling you some of the newbies in my collection if you've been watching my videos you know that i am definitely like on a sort of go slow when it comes to buying books simply because a i've bought too many books that have disappointed me b i want to clear the backlog in my own bookshelf and c i got a kindle so yeah i'm going to be focusing on reading ebooks so i'm very particular about the books that i'm adding into my collection especially if i'm spending my own money on it luckily there are some good samaritans out there who have decided to get me books and yeah so the first and most exciting book that i've added to my collection is this the rage of dragons so this is a book that was already in my collection i have a copy of the rage of dragons but not a hardcover it's in paperback but at the moment my friend has it they're supposed to be reading it i hope they are so yeah my friend has it but this was sent to me by the author evan winter and guys it's signed and dedicated look so i'm not too sure like the message will be so clear but there's a message up there that's really good and his own signature i don't know about you guys but i get very excited when my favorite authors send me signed copies especially for fantasy books because we all know how hard it is here in kenya to first of all find the fantasy books themselves and then to have an author send it all the way i'm pretty much excited so this will just be like i'll i'll just keep it in my collection i'll have two copies of the book i might even be tempted to read these particular ones just so that i can say i've read it but yeah that's the rage of dragons by evan winter this is a very good fantasy book for those who love fantasy it's african inspired it's really nice the main character chao can be a bit irritated but like the story is really good actually i'm trying to decide whether i want to buy book two last i checked in the bookshops it was like 3700 shillings and i've been like hmm that seems a lot but maybe i'll just buy book two or read it um in ebook form but the reason i'm a bit hesitant on reading it is because evan winter has not announced when book three will be out i think it's supposed to be later this year so we'll wait and see if he announces that it's later this year then i'll get book two and read it but this was so good book one was so good i gave it a five star the first time i read it the second time i read it i read it with my fantasy book club and i still give it a five star it's one of the few books we've read in the book club where people actually liked it or didn't have like that much to complain about it so that's the rage of dragons the second book added to my collection is this the merciless ones by namina fauna this is book two in this series the first book is called the gilded ones i've lent out my copy to a friend i really okay don't want to say i really enjoyed it but it made me curious enough to want to know where the story is going that's the only reason i'm considering book two and also it's really it's pretty look it's really pretty with the sprayed edges i love this so yeah book one i think because first of all it's young adult um you can expect a little you know emotional outburst and stuff but the story where the story ended really made me curious as to where it's going so i have now book two in my collection i don't know when i'll be reading this but hopefully soon the third book is the first woman by jennifer makumbi i read chintu last year and immediately gave it a five star i really really enjoyed chintu and so someone i don't know who was it steph someone told me to follow it up with this because chintu is basically like the first man so the first woman will make sense i really hope i'm remembering what they said well but yeah i got the first woman i have high expectations because of 
how I really love Chintru. I have high expectations of this book. Jennifer as an author really writes African stories very, very, very well. Like I was super impressed. Believe the hype guys, believe the hype. So the first woman, this I'm hoping to read, let's just say soon, but yeah, this is what we have. Then the next two new books in my collection are all, are both like Kenyan authored books. And I have to say, I'm really impressed by how these books look like. But guys, is it because we're in Kenya that our standards of books are so low? Is it because there's like a lot of troubles in publishing and, you know, putting your books out there or what? Because the quality of our books are not usually good. That's why I think I was so impressed with the quality of these books. But the thing is, these two authors do not live in Kenya. So again, does that count towards the quality of our books? I don't know. I don't know. So I'll start with this one. For What Are Butterflies Without Their Wings by Troy Onyango. Just, just look at this cover first. It's so pretty. The quality is so good. The print inside looks magnificent. Honestly. Um, I follow Troy on social media, so I've been waiting to have a copy of this book for a while since he announced it's going to be out here. Um, it's a collection of stories, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's a collection of stories um, I, that highlight also Kenya and, you know, our experiences. Some of the stories I can already tell are not within the norm of what we as a country kind of quote unquote accept but i'm very interested in this guys the quality kudos troy kudos for ensuring that your book comes out with such good quality so yeah for what are butterflies without their wings this is a short story collection i wish i could have someone to buddy read it with so that we can discuss but i'm glad it's in my library the next one is this Things They Lost by Aquiri Odor. Guys, look at this. If I myself were not Kenyan and didn't know that this author is Kenyan, I would immediately assume this is one of those Nigerian or Ghanaian, you know, other country published books just because of the quality. Guys, I'm so glad I got this version because I know there's the hardback cover that I'm really not a fan of. So this to me, I like, I was so happy about this. Even if I'm not a fan of random faces in the cover, cause who is this? I still can't complain cause this is so good. <sighs> I've had mixed reviews about this book, so I'm not going in with overly high expectations. I'm just going in with an open mind to see where the story goes, but I'm just so impressed by these quality books guys i'm impressed i love this so yeah guys that was a pretty short video those are the new books in my collection so far and i'm hoping that i'll actually get to read them within the year i really i'm trying to just clear the backlog within my own books but thank you so much to all the good samaritans who thought to give me these books including evan winter and also if any of you want a copy of any of these books they're available at nuria bookshop and if you use my code Nuria X Jules, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. You get 7% off of each book you order when you order using their, when you order via their website. So save your coins, help a girl out. And yeah, I think that's a wrap for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.